Actor Robert De Niro's townhouse has new locks tonight after a serial burglar with more than two dozen prior arrests was arrested again, now accused of breaking into his home. 30-year-old Shanice Aviles was taken into custody this morning. Police say they spotted her trying to open the doors of businesses, and then she stumbled into the unlocked townhouse of the Oscar-winning actor. News Force Paisy Chang live on the Upper East Side with what police say she was doing inside De Niro's home, Paisy. Yeah, Natalie, so police were following her because she was acting suspicious, trying to open doors of commercial businesses here on the Upper East Side. Somehow she found her way into Robert De Niro's townhouse, and that's when they walked in and caught her red-handed. Shanice Aviles arrested after the NYPD caught her red-handed unlawfully inside this Upper East Side townhouse. I didn't murder anybody. And that's all she had to say for herself. Police say they found the 30-year-old woman inside actor Robert De Niro's townhouse on East 65th Street around 2.45 this morning. Very, very sad. It's, I guess, no neighborhood is safe anymore, huh? Sources say cops have been following her for some time as she tried to open doors of commercial buildings. When she turned on East 65th Street, they noticed the open door to this townhouse and went inside to check. I didn't go to Robert De Niro's house. When they went upstairs, they saw Avila's on an iPad that belonged to De Niro. Sources say the actor and his 10-year-old daughter were sound asleep at the time. I didn't murder nobody, so I'm away. I got me over. Sources say Avilas has been arrested nine times since November 21st, released without bail with two bench warrants against her. Today, locksmiths arrived at De Niro's home and changed the locks to the front and basement door. And detectives were inside the home all day gathering evidence. I'm rather saddened to know that my hometown is uh, being so uh, visited by crime. Law-abiding citizens don't have any rights. Now, during one of those arraignments for a previous crime, she was released so that she could seek uh, treatment and rehab and get support services, but she got that bench warrant when she failed to report to court the next time. She's still awaiting arraignment. They said it could be sometime tonight or even tomorrow. We're live from the Upper East Side tonight. Paisy Cheng, News 4 New York. Paisy, thank you.